Well, hello, Fabs. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Yana Tabwa, and welcome to the House of Tabwa. So, we are back at it again, guys. Okay, I'm going to be doing another bridal piece to add to my collection. And this bridal piece, I'm feeling very sexy, sophisticated, simplicity. All that in one, honey. So, um, this is going to be catered to my sexy brides. And um, I want to go ahead and create a whole lace look. And basically, I'm going to be using the same lace that I used in the first jumpsuit, which is this one, if you haven't seen that video. Um, this one was giving me romantic vintage vibes. But this time around, I want to have a sexy, you know, subtle, sophisticated, with a little bit of oomph vibe. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sketch the idea. Put it on paper so you guys can see what's in my head. You know what I mean? So let's get started right now, bro. So as you can see, this is jumpsuit number one. So I'm going to put jumpsuit over here, number two. And I just basically want to create like All right, so this is basically what the jumpsuit looks like. Um, very simple, nothing fussy fussy. This is going to be a all lace um, fitted jumpsuit with a bra cup corset bodice. It's going to lace up in the back and then it's going to have a overlay uh, cape bolero um, covering, which is optional if you want to have it without or with. And it's going to have these big bishop sleeves at the end and it's going to be open slit in the back. So very um, straightforward, nothing too dramatic or fussy, but enough to give it a bit of oomph. So this is a bra cup that I'm gonna be using. This bra cup has a built-in push up inside. Let me show you. As you can see, it's made with a built-in push up. And so I'm gonna be using this to create the bra cup on the bodice of the jumpsuit. Here it is. I'm gonna place it right here. Next, I'm gonna take duct tape and place it onto my bra cup. Okay, so I'm done with this. I'm gonna go ahead and place my draping tape around here so I can get the shape of the corset. So when I place back the cup, it's in the right place when I'm going to drape the corset parts. So I'm just gonna follow this and then I'll perfect it once I take this off. Whoopsie. So now that I'm done, done with this, I'm gonna take this off. Looks like this. If you haven't seen this method, it's around the internet. So here's my corset. And I'm gonna drape each part per part. <clears throat> I don't know if I like this area right here.
So I'm going to be doing a voiceover for this part. Um, as you can see, the bra cup is fully taped. And all I'm doing is basically trimming off the excess uh, tape that's on the edge. And then once I've done that, now I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's all smoothed down without those bubbles. And then take my marker to draw the bra, the bra cup seams. So I'm going to have three parts to this. Um, all you have to do is just draw it any way you want. Um, the top card could be much wider and then you just draw a center line at the from the top line mark. And once that's done, you just basically pull the tape off the bra cup and then just uh, cut the pieces separate. Um, I go ahead and number each piece so I know which one is what. And then I transfer it on to muslin so that way I can um, create a pattern for it and add seam allowance. You want to make sure that you add seam allowance so that way you can uh, fit it onto the fabric and back onto the bra cup when it's time for you to sew it. So after putting all my seam allowance in the bra cup, I decided to go ahead and perfect my patterns for the corset and add a half an inch seam allowance around each pattern. So once that's complete, I go ahead and pin it together so I can test the bodice. So now I'm just removing the tape from the bra cups and now pinning it together with the seam allowance. And then I'm going to go ahead and pin the bra cup to the muslin bodice. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to pin the bra cup onto the actual bra cup mold. Okay. And um, pin that to the corset bodice. Now, as you can see, this is what it looks like, and I'm gonna go ahead and test it onto the dress form. And voila, this is what it's going to look like once you go ahead and pin it following the draping tape placements. Okay, so here is the bodice so far, and I think I like it. Um, I'm liking the pole bra cup situation. So this is the, ouch. This is the bra cup that is already built in so I don't have to make one. And I'm really liking the way it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in muslin first so I can see what this whole thing look like before I go ahead and proceed and put it into fabric because I'm not about to do that. Like, I'm not about to um, start cutting. That's the proper way to do it anyway. So let's move on. Okay, so this is the bra cup. Now, I went ahead and cut a little bit off here on top because I wanted it to be more rounded and curved. And so, I'm going to just place my bra cup pattern here, the muslin, right on top. So, all I'm gonna do is just place it like this and then sew a quarter of an inch 
at the top, maybe one eighth of an inch at the top. Um, so this one can secure and so I can flip it right over. And so this is what it looks like once it's complete. As you can see, I went ahead and pinned the bottom. Um, you can stitch this to keep it in place and then trim this off so that way it can stay nice and neat. I'm gonna go ahead and press and then I'm gonna replace it onto my muslin bodice so that way I can see the fit of the corset. All right, so I went ahead and put all the bodice together, okay? So this is what it looks like on this side, and this is what it looks like at the front. Um, obviously, I wanna test this to see how it fits, so I basically um, put all my bra cups and what it's supposed to look like if I had the actual fabric into place. So all I'm gonna do is just connect this at the um, bust cup here, and then just sew it around um, so I can see the fit on the dress form and on my body. Okay guys, so here is the bodice fully complete and she is crisp and beautiful. So I'm loving the way this fits so far. So good, this is the back. Um, I'm gonna probably gonna bring it in some more because I want this to be open because it's gonna be a lace back like the continuation of the other jumpsuit. And I also made the cups more rounded because I wanted to have the rounded shape continue moving forward. Now here I wanna also create the cape I think I want to create it more rounded as well so that way it can nicely complement the neckline of the bodice. That video is going to be separate from this bodice, but so far so good. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out by connecting the pants in the muslin and then I'm going to try it on to see how it fits on me. Alright, so here's my pants pattern. I'm going to use this muslin. I'm ran out of muslin, but whatever I have left, I'm going to use it just for testing. All right guys, so here is the mock-up of the jumpsuit. So far, things are looking right, and I'm liking the way it looks so far. Um, I see some things I'm gonna make some corrections on. Um, what I noticed about my pants here, there's a little bit of gapping, I don't like this. A little bit of excess fabric here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that in, as well as take this in so it can be nice and tight and right. And I also noticed something that the hem of my pants is a little too wide, so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the width of the pants. So now this is the corset with the bra cup. It looks good once the bones go in the front. I love it. So the back part of this is too closed because my back is very tiny. So I need to adjust this because I want it to be open when you see the lacing work happen. So I'm going to open it up from here, maybe take it in about, take it, take off about maybe a half, an inch and a half maybe or two inches so that way I can have it open so you can lace it up as far as I want and then it close into the zipper at the waistline so that way everything will be cinched in. So I'm going to make this fit to the T. Okay lady, I think I'm going to put a strap on it to be able to remove it as a removal. We'll see when I get there, but other than that, everything looks so good so far. And I'm liking the shape of this. Yes, the bra cup looks official, girl. See that? 
Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Hold my top ties in. Let's move on. So I went ahead and made my corrections on my pant pattern as you can see here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it onto a new piece of paper so I can uh, put it on a pattern paper. Now, um, if you wanna learn how to draft pants and how to correct, I have a course on drafting pants from scratch using measurements only. And I show you step-by-step -step on how to craft a pants from scratch to all the way of uh, sewing a tailored, a tapered pant like this kind. So um, I'm gonna link in. The, I'm gonna leave the link down in the description box, box as always. You guys can go ahead and check it out. Um, it's very informative for those who are starting off. So here's my corset, everything is put together and it's ready for the bones. So I'm gonna put the casing right in here and then this is the bow cups that I made and they are complete and fully done. Loving how the way it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and install everything together. So here's the bra cup. I put in my bones and also did the back of the loops. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Beautifully cleaned and fixed. I added some um, hanger loops as well so that way it can be hung when it's hung on the hanger. And this is basically what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the dress form to fully get the shape. So I went ahead and did my lining for the pants and put my pants together as well. So I sewed everything together. Oops, actually I didn't sew everything together. I'm about to sew it together. <laughs> I'm gonna put the zipper in and then um, connect it to the bodice and then we're gonna see how this whole thing fits. So this is what it looks like hung up and she is ready to wear right now so let's go ahead and try her on yes all right ladies 
this is the jumpsuit without the cape. It is she fab. I think she's gorgeous. Simple, but fits in the, all in the right places. Now let me come up close so you guys can see. Now this is what it looks like right now. I wish I had did the lining um, more of my skin tone because you know um, it would look much better against this but it is what it is right now. Um, the bodice to me needs to be tighter because my bodice, my, my um, upper, upper bodice is tiny and I could have cinched this so I can have it really tight. So I would have to take it in some but I think I'm gonna leave it just like this for now because it's okay. I'm pretty sure I can find a model who's gonna fit this to the T. So, but this is what it looks like right now. And I'm digging it, look. Yes, girl. Now, where would I go with this, you know? Where would I go with this without the cape? I'm thinking like maybe the bridal shower or the bachelorette. Would this look good for the bachelorette? I think so, maybe. The bachelor red one? Maybe it might be too much, because it might get wild. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Just all the way wild. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section. Where else would you wear this to? I don't think the bachelor red might get ruined. I think it'll need something a little bit more spandexy. So now we are going to put the cape Valero on. Now here we are. Let me go ahead. I'm about to get some drama up in here, okay? Shoot. So here is the Kate Valero look. And I think it's super fabulous. Um, this is like a substitution for the one with the skirt. You know, usually lace looks like this. Usually have like a detachable skirt. But I didn't want to do that right now for this look. So I, I decided to go with the cape to give it a little pizzazz. Now, if I'm gonna come out in this, I think I will be for the reception. Reception, I think I will do a piece in justice. No fuss, no muss. So it looks like this, basically, which is gorgeous. This is like a neckline, a necklace for this neckline. And then this is the sleeve, which I love it. So I think it will be perfect for the occasion. Um, this is what the back looks like. And at the reception, we're just coming out with your hubby or wife. Honey. Welcome, Mrs. and Mr. So-and-so. So, -so. so um, I'm going to have a video on this separate. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.